that cup, gonna fill it up. Hear that beat, gonna bump it up. Soon those roots will be busting up, and we'll have yams for every sub. Yo, I gave all my spuds the boot, cause I'm in the woods, I'm grabbing loot. I'm looking for that yam and shoot, and the yam horn I'm a gonna do. Ladies, I got something for ya. Check out my fly, be a score ya. Hello, fellas, what you got? I can't compete with my allotta. See that cup, gonna fill it up. Hear that beat. Welcome back. I'm David the Good, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to double dig a garden bed. So I have this huge area. We've moved to our land, just got a lot of the brush cleared out of it. We need to start digging some garden beds. Now, if I want to do a bed on the cheap where I don't have to do any carpentry, I don't have to do anything fancy, and I don't have to deal with dead fish, I could just double dig. Now, double digging is a lot of work. There's good reasons to do it, but it's a lot of work. So, since I'm like in good shape and I could still use a little more, I think I'll just go ahead and double dig. Once you do it the first time, you don't really have to go back and double dig it again. So, the first time you double dig, it's hard. So, I should stop wasting time talking and go start double digging. All we have to do dump this back into this trench, the dirt we took from the first bit. So now that we got all of our soil double dug here, just go ahead and, and rake it. Make a nice bed for seedlings or transplants or whatever. And this is so nice and soft and deep beautiful and you also as you go if you have rocky soil hey you get the rocks out and they're not gonna come back and bug you year after year so I'm keeping this nice 4 by 12 and I make a nice shape to it uh, I love doing this I mean I know it's hard work but the best things in life are hard work. Marriage, kids, owning a house, learning to play guitar.
Another thing I do is as I go, by having these persistent perennial weed things that I'm seeing, I'm gonna yank them now. They will pop up now and again after the first time you do this, you're just gonna have to stay on top of the weeding. See this stuff, this goes out. Bust the clods. Oh, it's so beautiful and fluffy. This is what you would call a clay loam soil if you're interested. It's not solid clay. It's got some nice loaminess to it. It's also volcanic clay loam. For those of you guys that just want to feel bad about your own gardens, <laughs> there we go. That right there is a finished double dug bed. All ready for planting. Throw a little compost on top, you're good. So that's the way it works. You dig a trench across, you fork up the bottom of the trench. Shovel the next bit into it, and then you fork the bottom of that one. Then you shovel the next bit, shovel the next bit, shovel the next bit. You take the first bit of soil that you threw in the wheelbarrow at the very beginning, put it in the last trench, rake it over, and then you have a beautiful garden to plant on. It didn't cost you anything except a little sweat equity because by the sweat of thy brow shalt thou eat bread. That's the way it works. So when you have this bed, the great thing about it is that now you've got loose soil about this deep. And that means when you water, it goes way down in. It means when you plant transplants, they don't fight. If you use a tiller, you're probably only gonna get about six inches loose. You know, or if you just rake the top of the ground and you start planting, it's hard. It's often hard, particularly if you have clay soil. But when you double dig like this, you make all these holes. And there's all these little pockets where when you plant a transplant, it digs deep. It gets more minerals out of the soil easier. It gets the water easier. And the water sticks around longer because you cut kind of a sponge structure instead of a hard structure. I really like doing this for new ground. There's plenty of other ways to make garden beds. You do lasagna gardens or square foot gardens or whatever else. but this way, take a bare piece of ground, put it into good shape, and you get really good results really quickly. Maybe an hour or two to dig a bed, a four by eight, and then boom, you've got it. So, thanks for joining me. Go out and try and double dig a bed. It's fun. It's more fun in sand than it is in rocky clay, but it's gonna make a good garden either way. I've done it in sand, I've done it in clay, it works both ways. And uh, as long as you don't step on it, it stays nice and fluffy for years. Just keep it weeded. You have to fork it up a little bit to loosen it later. You can do that, but just go ahead. Do that when you feel like you need to. You feel like you need a little ab workout. Go out and do it. Catch you next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. Do you throw banana peels in the trash? Are your coffee grounds also being thrown in the trash? Do you compost ham? <laughs> Are you sick and tired of all the rules about composting? Do you wish you could compost in a super easy way? And stop throwing things in a landfill? And stop being a terrible person? Click on the link below and sign up and get my new composting booklet, which shows you how to compost easily and simply with hardly any, any work at all. It's insane how easy it is because it follows natural principles. Sign up now, quantities are not limited.